Do you want to get a visual overview of a new academic field? Make sure you haven't missed any important paper. Create the bibliography for your thesis or discover the most important prior and derivative works in a field. Then you have to check out connected papers. Enter a typical paper and connected papers will build you a graph of similar papers in the field. There are several ways of searching for a paper in connected papers. You can use its title, its DOI, its ArcSieve URL, Semantic Scholar URL, or PubMed's URL. Let's take the paper A New Unconditionally Stable Fractional Step Method for Nonlinear Coupled Thermomechanical Problems from Armero and Simo as an example. We enter its title and voila! Here it is, our connected papers graph. It looks awesome, but what does it mean? Each node is an academic paper related to the original article. Similar papers have strong lines connecting them and clustered together. The distance between them is a sort of similarity measure. According to connected papers, their content is similar and they cover the same niche of this scientific field. The size of a node is its number of citations. Heavily cited papers have the largest nodes and so the largest visual weight, if you will. They are probably influential papers worth checking out. In our example, these papers are the ones with the most citations. The color of the node is its publishing year. The darker the shade of blue, the more recent the paper is. This also leads to the more recent papers having a more considerable visual weight. They are the most up-to-date takes on this particular niche of a scientific field and present the latest advances in the area. In our case, the papers by Kim from 2011 are the most recent ones. They probably contain the most recent takes on these ideas. The papers whose nodes are the largest and the darkest will probably help you the most. Explore and build graphs for exciting papers that you find. Soon you will have an accurate visual understanding of the trends, popular works and dynamics in the field you are interested in. For a more concrete application, let's say you are collecting papers for your thesis bibliography. You have already found many interesting papers that are helping you understand the subject. To make sure you are not missing out on any important paper, start with those and fill in the gaps using connected papers. It's a literal goldmine. I've often found awesome additions to my bibliographies using it. Another way to use connected papers is to keep tabs on the most recent papers in a field. For example, in areas such as machine learning, so many papers are published each year that it's difficult to keep track. With connected papers, you can search and visually discover the most recent papers. Remember, they are the darkest in color. Finally, you must check out these two awesome connected paper tools, the prior works and derivative works view. Use the prior works view to find important ancestor works in your field of interest. They are the papers most often cited by the papers in the graph. This usually means that they are seminal works in the field and they are worth checking out. You can use the derivative works view to find literature reviews in the field and recently published state-of-the-art following your input paper. These papers cite many of the papers in the graph and this usually means that they are either surveys of the field or recently published papers inspired by the papers in the graph. Check out Connected Papers, it is an awesome tool that will help you out a ton.